let's take a little bit of a stroll down memory lane here, and revisit a few more trades. I've done videos talking about the Dolan trade, that was a few months ago. I've talked about the Kessler trade, which was a month or two ago, something like that. Clay Emu actually made his own video revisiting the Dolan trade as well in the past few weeks, so you can check that out as well. I wanted to take a look at something else that really strikes me, because I remember this specific trade, exactly where I was, what I was doing, and the immediate public reaction to that. And that was the Marcus Grenland for Hunter Shinkarek trade. Now that Hunter Shinkarek is the age in which Grenland was when Grenland was traded to us, I wanted to visit this a little bit and just talk about the impact that this trade had on the Vancouver Canucks market. Now starting things off, I was actually in my Science 10 class. This was two years ago in 2016, and we were sitting there, I think we were learning about, like, biomes or whatever, something like that, and it was nearing the end of class when Canadian Zombie, who is also a YouTuber, I've talked about him a little bit in the past, calls me from across the room, and he's like, Yo, Jill, Jill, Jill. And I turn over and I look at him and I'm like, what? And then he's like, Shin Carrot got traded. And then... All my other friends were in on the class, listening, they were all like, Yo, what? What? Shinkarek got traded? And then after the bell rung and we were like, What the heck? Hunter Shinkarek is a flame? What? He was supposed to be like an elite first line sniper. What happened? And everyone was like, What the heck? We got Granlund? Mikhail Granlund's older, not as good brother? What? What the heck is this, Jim Benning? What are you doing? And, like, everybody was freaking out, and the next day we were like, Yo, I don't know what's going on anymore with this team. We're, like, building towards the future by getting guys that don't have as high of a ceiling as the guys that we had before. What's going on? And, needless to say, in hindsight, looking at things now, we can obviously see that Hunter Shinkarek is a guy who just got traded to the Montreal Canadiens, and Marcus Granlin as a guy who is, let's just say, an NHL talent. This was a win for the Vancouver Canucks. Although, I doubt that this is what they could have gotten, because I think Hunter Shinkarek at the time, he was almost a point-per-game player in the AHL. Like, I think we could have gotten at least a tad bit more, but... Granlin was in a position where the Flames, they weren't really using him all too much, and they kind of wanted to, you know, experiment a little bit. Granlin wasn't a guy who was being relied upon as a number one player. A guy who was being relied upon as the prospect that they drafted him to be. And so, this was kind of like the Berchi trade, and where the Flames were giving their players to us because they were like, yeah, he kind of needs a change of pace, he's a talent and all that, but he absolutely needs a change of scenery in order to get himself going. And that's what he was given with Vancouver, because in the next season with the Vancouver Canucks, the next full season, mind you, 69 games played, 32 points. Hey, there you go. That's all you get from Marcus Granlin. Meanwhile, Hunter Shinkarek started things off with Calgary really well, actually. Actually. He played his first game in Calgary, I believe that's where he got the two goals in the seven games, but the next season in the AHL, he got himself 35 points in 52 games, and then the next season after that, which was the most previous season, 32 points in 63 Stockton Heat games, and now he got traded to the Montreal Canadiens, in exchange for, I think, Kirby Reichel, something like that. And nowadays, I think anybody looking at this trade doesn't see it in the blockbuster, oh my god, we just traded a number one prospect for a bottom six projected NHLer. It's not really that important anymore. I don't think that this trade involves some super big names. Hunter Shinkarek is no longer the prospect that he used to be. Oh, Nike, this has a great whatever happened to video about Shinkarek. And Granlund is a player who, you could say he belongs in the NHL, you could say that he doesn't belong on the Vancouver Canucks because we have too many forwards, but I think the bottom line here is the Vancouver Canucks, in hindsight, won this trade. Obviously, the public outcry was a little bit different back then than it is now in regards to Hunter Shinkarek and his playing abilities, but it's something that you can't really deny that we kinda won a few years down the line.
It's really unfortunate, to be honest, to look at Hunter Shinkarik's career and see all the injuries that plagued him and restricted him from achieving his full potential as a prospect, especially in his draft plus one year, where he only played 18 games in the WHL. Honestly, Shinkarik was a guy who definitely had a ton of value, and people were mocking Benning for saying something along the lines of like, yeah, he likes the score, but we don't know if that'll translate to the NHL level. There were so many memes about that, it was hilarious, but nevertheless... I guess he was kind of right, it didn't translate to the NHL level, because now, Hunter Shinkarik is looking towards being just a top AHL player. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, for plus, and then just roll slash gaming, and bye. <laughs>